Hi everyone, Susie here. I am sharing a scrapbook layout today with you. This is using a um, cut file from Paige Evans, the, the Love Cut File. And I am backing it with, I'm trying to look for my notes. I usually write down which um, products I use. Um, and during the process of this video, I'll just give you a, a heads up. I do so many <laughs> changes and switching papers out. And um, my first papers that I chose are actually my favorite, but I messed up on the background. And so I had to switch out the O background paper. But this is the one that I really like the most. And that happens to me, it seems like, I don't know if I'm just too quick to um, adhere things down, but I like to get things in place so that, um, I don't know why, I just, I just always like to, I mean, on a cut file, obviously you have to, but I'm quick to um, adhere things down. I'm going to work on that so that I can be more, um, interchangeable with my backgrounds and such but anyway I I'm still looking for my notes I'm sorry hang on a minute well I know the blue and white is American crafts and Oh, I also switched out my photo. I started out with this photo of Capri and um, Evie, my granddaughters, and I end up switching that. Not sure why. I think I wanted to use a smaller photo so that the cut file would show a little bit more. And then on the E, um, open ends of the E for this cut file, I decided to use this American Crafts um, paper with the animals and I put an, I was going to put an animal in each um, of the rectangles and the top E didn't quite fit so I just used the same pattern paper. And here I'm just kind of adhering the paper, trimming around the edges, and cleaning um, the background up a bit. I might get a little bit distracted during this video. My husband just took over some um, colostrum to our neighbors. Um, they had a calf and it wasn't drinking from the mama. So he, my husband had some frozen colostrum. So he's over there and I'm anxious to hear how the baby calf is doing because we're just getting ready to get started with calving season here ourselves. So, and, and it just started snowing today and that's predicted for the next two weeks. So that's, you know, I love the snow, but not ideal for caffeine. So here you see the um, photo that I switched out. This is an engagement photo of Griffin and Sammy, my son and daughter-in-law. And at this point, I still have that pretty second paper that I like. And I will eventually switch that out.
And I think this is actually the point I should have stopped because this is why I had to switch the background because I adhered the whole die, um, the whole layer, and then I messed up on top of it. So lessons learned. And I think I just, how did I fix it? I just fixed it by adding some, I switched it by add, um, changing the background of the whole thing. I think it got just a little busy with that floral paper and that bright orange red. I don't know, do any of you ever go to the levels that I went to to change this layout out? I mean, I, st I had the whole background done and then I eventually ended up switching out the entire background, including one of the background, the O background letters. I just, you know, if it's not appealing to my eye, I am not afraid to switch it out. And that's exactly what I did here, including the photo. And I backed this photo with about four layers of tissue paper. And this is some of the bright red orange that you will not see in the final layout, as well as that floral paper. And I don't think I show the process of me switching it out, so that's why I'm telling you that. And then these are some Pebbles Puffy Hearts. And I do use those on the end layout. They're sort of like conversation hearts. They're super cute. Here I'm adding some foam backing to... Um, I'm trying to figure out if this actually made it to the end. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, that flower. Yes, that flower does not end up making it either. I decided I needed more bright and um, sunny embellishments to the layout. So, I mean, I told you, really, a lot of things changed on this layout before the, we get to the end here. There you see me adjusting the um, tissue paper that I'm backing the photo with. Just cutting it. I try to adhere the layers kind of a little bit in the middle. I don't mind if the ends ruffle up a bit. Um, and then I, I stapled the center of the tissue to keep it together somewhat. Right there, I still have the old background, so I haven't switched that out yet. <laughs> I think when I do, it's kind of abruptly and you don't see the process. I apologize for that. And then I do add some um, foam adhesive to the back of the photo to raise it up a little bit, give it some dimension using my scrappy glue to adhere it. And obviously I am able to lift this up because the, you will see that the, like I said, the O background is changed. Here I'm switching the layout up a bit. I'm adding some yellow cardstock. I tore it at the bottom. And there I've already switched out the O background. And I'm adding the torn um, cardstock to the bottom. Re-adhering the love die cut. Okay, you can see here I'm adding some of the um, ephemera pieces from Jen Hadfield's collection. 
um, by Pebbles. I think it's the homemade collection. I add a, a little flower cluster. And then I'll be making a little cluster on the upper um, right hand side. And I use a speech bubble stamp, a Vicki Booten stamp. I think it says, let's do this. And then there's also some simple stories um, stickers involved in that upper left hand thing, thing, embellishment cluster. And this is just a cluster, I'm, I'm stapling it together. It's the simple stories that's a little flower vase and a label from Felicity Jane. And there's the speech bubble I was talking about. And then I will be adding um, a puffy heart sticker. And some enamel dots from Echo Park. And here I just tore the left hand portion of the um, white paper. It's it's actually white um, Swiss dot by Basil. And I just tore a little bit of it off and then I'm going to piece in uh, some of the same yellow cardstock at the top there. And I'm using some American Craft foam thickers to say engaged and I'll be adding a puffy heart and uh, I don't know if it's on camera. I add a, uh, it's kind of a flag sticker that says love one another underneath it. And then I add some simple stories banner stickers underneath the curve. And you'll see that in the end in my final shots. And this is the point where I thought I was done and then that's when I went back and added the two things I just mentioned, the flag sticker and the banner. Because that just looked a little too blank to me underneath Ungaged. And then there is the final project. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Bye bye. Have a good day.